Furz oder du? Ah, ich weiß. Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lenz and you're watching Get Germanized Different and Better Ways to Say Nein. No in German. In this series we look at, well, very common phrases and words and find better or just different ways of expressing them, of expressing ourselves in a way that is appropriate. <laughs> Maybe, sometimes not. We'll see. Let's get started right away. Lasst uns anfangen. Nein is something you hear everywhere in Germany all the time. Among ja as well, but I guess nein <laughs> is very common too. Not only in German society, but movies as well that you guys probably have seen on the internet or at the movie theater even. We're going as far as uh, Inglorious Bastards. They probably say nein every now and then somewhere in there as well, <laughs> maybe. Anyway, nine is very common, obviously, it can be used everywhere, anywhere, with anyone, similar to ja. Uh, if you haven't seen the video about ja yet, then uh, check it out. It's uh, here somewhere and in the video description as well. Let's get started with a slight variation of nine. It is aber nein, aber nein, aber nein, aber nein, but no, aber nein. It's kind of if someone saying something that you are surprised by and you're opposed to. You're like, uh, but no, I, I haven't done that. Why would that happen? No, never. But no, aber nein. For example, someone is suggesting that you might have had something to do with the poisoning of the lady's drink. And uh, he's asking you, have you had something to do with poisoning the lady's drink? Then you can respond with, Aber nein, <laughs> that was not me. Uh, <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> While this can be used, obviously, to deceive someone, it can be also a very true statement. Aber nein, and very easy as well, in my opinion, at least. Next up is similar to aber nein. It is aber nicht doch. Aber nicht doch. Aber nicht doch. <laughs> aber nicht doch. <laughs> What are you thinking? No, aber nicht doch. This can be used, for example, when someone is doing something that you're opposed to, that you don't like. Oh, aber nicht doch, aber nicht doch, don't do it, no. Aber nicht doch is a little bit more formal to my ears as well, my German ears. And uh, it's probably something I see a housemate or a butler say as well every now and then, aber, aber nicht doch. Or like maybe an older lady, like a grandma or something like that. Oh, aber nicht doch. Mm. On the other hand, I can also see someone say this who is witnessing something that he doesn't like or she doesn't like. Uh, for example, a street brawl is about to start and then the gentleman is saying or the gentle lady is saying, aber nicht doch. Oh, do, don't use violence, aber nicht doch. Refrain from this, please. Aber nicht doch. Next up is one that is more common and not as formal. It is auf gar keinen Fall or auf keinen Fall. In no case, under no circumstances. Auf keinen Fall or auf gar keinen Fall. Auf gar keinen Fall by adding the gar, this just implies that it's even less wished from your side of things. Like you don't want this, auf gar keinen Fall. Or auf keinen Fall if you're still opposed to it, but not as much. Milady, would you like to engage in the act of marriage with me? Maybe today or tomorrow? <laughs> and she might say, auf gar keinen Fall, auf gar keinen Fall. Never, never will I marry you, you vile creature. She might also reply, Ausgeschlossen, ausgeschlossen, locked out, <laughs> basically ausgeschlossen. It is something that she will never consider, ever. It is locked out of the possibilities, basically. That's how I like to explain it. Yeah, it is something that will never happen or that, that is just so preposterous to that person that they can only respond with ausgeschlossen. And no, what? And if something is that ridiculous, 
that you cannot fathom it even in the slightest, then you could also say the more formal Gott bewahre or Gott behüte. Basically both mean God prevents or God protects you from whatever you don't want to happen. Oh, Gott bewahre, Gott behüte. Oh. Basically, someone puts their faith in God to get rid of whatever is annoying them. <laughs> God bewahre, no, no, God no. Yeah, basically, God no, <laughs> God no. God bewahre, if I ever get in similar circumstances, Never would I do this. It is way too ridiculous for me. Next up, you are in court. And the lawyer on the other side is asking you, have you had anything to do with the murder of the squirrel man? And you can say, in keinster Weise. Or in keiner Weise. In keinster Weise. In keiner Weise. In no shape or form did I do anything to Squirrel Man. Nor would I ever. I haven't done it. It wasn't me. I didn't do anything. In keiner Weise. Or if someone asks you, do you intend to go through with your course of action, even though it is very despicable, and then you could say, uh, in keinster Weise. No, of course not. Why would I do this, even though it is very beneficial for me? <laughs> in, in keinster Weise, no. Another reply for this could also be keinesfalls. Keinesfalls. No, I do not intend to do this. Keinesfalls. No. No case is in existence where I would do this, basically. Keines Falls. No, definitely not. Would you like to dance with my daughter during your wedding? Keines Falls. What with that creature of a woman? <laughs> Keines Falls. As you can see, this sounds a little bit more formal. And it's something that I wouldn't necessarily use in everyday speech all the time, but it is uh, at least funny to say, if nothing else. Similarly formal to this is Kein Gedanke. Kein Gedanke. <laughs> Kein Gedanke. I've never even thought of this, of doing that. Kein Gedanke. <laughs> uh, no. Something that is so ridiculous that you can only respond with Kein Gedanke. Kein Gedanke. Kein Gedanke. What? No thought. Kein Gedanke. No thought has been spent on this. Ever. Because it's just too weird. Too strange. Who would ever do such a thing? Kein Gedanke. Kein Gedanke. Again, this is not something you will hear every day in Germany. But if you come across it, now you do know about it. More commonly used than this is Kommt nicht in Frage. Kommt nicht in Frage. Kommt nicht in Frage. Doesn't come into question. Doesn't happen. Won't happen. Will not happen. Kommt nicht in Frage. If you're really opposed to something and someone else is suggesting something that you don't like at all, then you can say, Kommt nicht in Frage. We're not gonna send the dog down the hill on skis. That is just... No. Kommt nicht in Frage. It would be funny to see, but no. Woof. Next up is what I like to call the German equivalent of the Japanese expression Shogunai. Can't be helped. Because in uh, German that is Kann man nichts machen. Kann man nichts machen. Kann man nichts machen. Or nichts zu machen. Nichts zu machen. Kann man nichts machen is uh, one can't do anything about it, basically. Kann man nichts machen. And nichts zu machen is nothing to do. As you can see, very similar, slightly different, but in the end mean the same thing. One can't do anything about this or there's nothing to do about this. Kann man nichts machen or nichts zu machen. Again, in Japanese, this is Shogunai. Little bonus word here. The monkeys throw poop at me all day. Yeah, I thought this is an enjoyable holiday trip. 
kann man nichts machen. Nichts zu machen. Kann man nichts machen. Next up, the German word niemals. 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 Never. Niemals. Will you uh, please cooperate and put your pants back on, sir? Otherwise, we will have to arrest you. You can say niemals if you really don't like wearing pants. Niemals. Never. Easy. Similar to this is nie. Nie und nimmer. Nie or nie und nimmer. Nie und nimmer is basically just a fun expression of the German language. Nie und nimmer. Never and never. <laughs> basically, a, a stronger form of never. Nie means also never. Comes from niemals, never. But is in this form abridged to fit with the nie und nimmer. Of course, you could say niemals und nimmer, but nie und nimmer is just how it's said in the German language. Nie und nimmer would I do this. Pff, nie und nimmer, no, pff, I would never eat this, nie und nimmer. No, this is definitely something I do not want to have anything to do with. Nie und nimmer, get away from me with this seafood. I have allergies and I am a little bit fragile when it comes to my digestive tract. Nie und nimmer. No, no, mm, mm, mm. Next up the expression, aber woher denn? Ach, woher denn? Either aber woher denn? Or ach, woher denn? Aber woher denn? Means but from where? And ach, woher denn? Meaning ah, uh, from where? <laughs> This is very difficult to understand, I am sure. Basically, you can respond with this when someone is saying something like, and I thought you were really angry at me this whole time. And you can say, aber woher denn? Of course not. Of course I wasn't angry at you. But from where do you get this assumption, basically? Aber woher denn? Ach, woher denn? Of course not. And if they're still not convinced and keep asking you, are you still angry at me? Then you can say, keine Spur, keine Spur. Not at all, basically, meaning no track. There's no track of me being angry or having been angry, having been, been mad at you at all. There's nothing left. Keine Spur, no, no trace. Keine Spur, there's no trace left of this. So no. Next up, if you strongly disagree with something, then you could respond with kommt nicht in die Tüte. Kommt nicht in die Tüte. Doesn't come into the bag. Ah, no, defi no, definitely not. Kommt nicht in die Tüte. Easier to say than kommt nicht in die Tüte would be nee, nee, nee. Basically just a changed version of nein. Nee, nee, it's just a lazy version of nein, basically, nee, and slang, obviously, as well. Similar to keine Spur, no trace, no track, is nicht die Spur, nicht die Spur, not the trace or not the track, nicht die Spur. Are you still angry at me for having gone out with your wife during Valentine's Day, even though you wanted to? And you can say, <laughs> Nicht die Spur, not even a trace of madness and anger is inside my brain at this moment in time. Ah. Nicht die Spur, not the trace. Or simply, nö, 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 nö. Similar to, nee, <laughs> nö, mm -mm new slang and just in another version of nine. No. Next up, a whole variation of different words, so different and similar that I will have to read this off my, my little notepad here. Durchaus nicht, ganz und gar nicht, absolut nicht, gewiss nicht, bestimmt nicht, sicher nicht, beileibe nicht. All different variations of the same expression, basically. Durchaus nicht means throughout not. Of, no, durchaus nicht is very formal. Ganz und gar nicht is um, 
whole and entirely not. So, ganz und gar nicht. Ganz und gar nicht. Uh, no. Is less formal, but can be formal uh, or can be used in formal situations. Ganz und gar nicht. Would you mind enjoying dinner with me tonight, my dear sir? And you could say, oh, ganz und gar nicht. It would be my pleasure. Ganz und gar nicht. Or absolut nicht, meaning absolutely not. Absolut nicht. But this can also be used as an affirming statement. For example, you will be asked by someone at some point in your life probably, do you mind doing this for me? And you could say, absolut nicht. Of course not, absolutely not. Of course I'll do this. But at the same time, this can also be used if someone is asking you something else. For example, do you want to go to dinner with me tomorrow? And you can say, absolut nicht. Sorry, keine Zeit, no time. Absolut nicht. Mm -mm. More formal than this is gewiss nicht. Gewiss nicht. Uh, I, I will not do this ever. Gewiss nicht. I shall not do this at any point in time. It is preposterous to even suggest such a course of action. Gewiss nicht. I will never sink to that standard. Gewiss nicht. Bestimmt nicht is our next word and means definitely not. Definitely not. Bestimmt nicht. Do you think uh, the zebra is responsible for the lion dying in the pool? And you could say uh, bestimmt nicht. I'm pretty sure no, but uh, yeah, no, bestimmt nicht. Probably not. Hmm, maybe though. But bestimmt nicht. Or uh, sicher nicht. Sicher nicht. That probably wasn't any, that probably wasn't related at all, sicher nicht. Uh, may have been, no. The zebra looks oddly suspicious. Next up, beileibe nicht. Beileibe nicht. Beileibe nicht. Uh, beileibe nicht means um, at no cost. Never will I do this ever. Beileibe nicht. Uh, but it's very formal and kind of archaic, and this time I'm pretty sure that Beileibe nicht is very not commonly used in the German language. Beileibe nicht. We're almost done here, just a couple more words. If you've learned something so far, let me know in the comments below, and also let me know which one was your favorite, and have I forgotten any? Maybe the next two will get rid of that problem though. Let's move on. The next one is um keinen Preis, at no cost, at no price will I do this. Um keinen Preis, um keinen Preis. Give up Sir Lancelot, your battle is lost. Kneel, kneel and accept me as your new master. Then you can say um keinen Preis, I will defeat you, um keinen Preis, Merlin. Merlin turned evil, apparently. Mm. Sir Lancelot could also say, Nicht um alles in der Welt. Nicht um alles in der Welt. Not for everything in the world will I kneel and bow to you, evil wizard man. Nicht um alles in der Welt. These were different and better ways sometimes, at least, to say Nein. No, in German. What did you think? Let me know. Also, consider becoming a channel member here on Get Germanized if you want to support my work and my future videos. I would highly appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who has already done this. It is very much appreciated. But you can do so by clicking on the join button below the video. There's also a link in the video description. So thank you very much. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.